Hi Aries, welcome back. This is oh, fix this. Okay, yeah. Hi Aries, welcome back. This is going to be in um August twenty eighth to the third reading for you. Okay, Aries. I hope you get a reading for you in a little bit. So let's see, Aries, the August August the twenty eighth to the third. Last two days in August, or is it thirty one days in here? I don't know. We have love begins, and then we have choose wisely. So you're choosing wisely when it, when it comes to love, or you need to. Okay, yeah, moving on, because you could be walking away from something and going into a spiritual connection. So I feel like you have a tough decision to, to make it regarding love. You have passion ignited. Somebody you're passionate about transformation and material harvest with victory and success. I feel like this decision with choose wisely will be will affect your money it will affect this decision that you choose to make will affect everything so hopefully you make the right one as far as love goes if you continue to stay in a situation like i've been getting in the readings lately that don't serve you there's going to be loss loss of money there's going to be lack continual betrayals to continually trying to set you up continuously lying but if you choose to go in this new direction with somebody you feel passion with you feel a spiritual connection with you feel like and you know is the one for you then it could change your whole life okay but it all depends upon what direction you want to go in and it's really truly all up to you okay let's see um Which one are they wanting me? Let's get one of these. So you pull love begins and choose wisely with passion ignited, transformation, material harvest, victory and success, and foundation and achievements with sacral chakra. So this could really change your whole life. It's kind of what they're telling you. Your whole life. Yeah, with the moving on, spiritual union, and um emotional loss and solitude so you could be in solitude you may be feeling like you lost the love of your life because you didn't make the right decision and moving forward you decided to stay stuck so you dip, you pick what side of this you're on let's see what this is for aries the boss the 28th to the 30th summer rising venus jupiter and north node aries summer rising and north node aries august the 28th to the 30th for Aries, Summer Rising and North Node. Aries. What is this? Give me one of these for Aries. Oh my God, I hate when all these fucking cards because it's confusing. Give me one of these for Aries. Yeah, we have change. And single, uh, alone, isolation, lonely, and guarded. So you could be undergoing some kind of change. Yeah, and new love. This is about a new love. This is about a faded meeting. This is about a new direction in love. This is about a decision. Yeah, the text message, communication news, phone call, direct message. Okay, that somebody is taking action, reaching out to you, communicating with you. Or this could be you, Aries. Okay, but I feel like this is about going in a different direction. The universe is guiding you, telling you which way to go. Maybe you had the chance to have this, but you gave up on it or you didn't do it. So there could be some loss here. Because I did get that in the collective reading. Okay, yesterday for you guys. All right. Which is technically today, but it'll be yesterday when you see this. Okay, so um, let's see. Let me get one of these. Let me get one of these for Aries. Summer rising, North Node, Aries. 28 to the 30th. Summer rising, North Node, Aries. So I feel like it's a new love here. You're single or you're in isolation or you're guarded. Okay, about maybe about a new love. You're not sure what to do or I don't know. What is this for Aries? 21 to 20. There it is. This girl with a snake. Empath, narcissist, paradigm. Being charmed or used, enabling boundaries. So you may be feeling like you're being charmed or used. Okay. Or you just don't trust the situation or somebody just doesn't trust you. You pick what side. But we got girl with a snake in the runner. Okay, yeah, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, epiphany. Give me one more. What's the girl with a snake for Aries? Yeah, engagement, engagement, um, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Was stabbed in the back, hurt, heart, okay, it fell out of my hand. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. So you maybe feel like, you may feel like somebody you wanted to propose to, or you maybe you're proposing somebody saying no, or you may feel like somebody you're going to be with is, is not going to go like that. Yeah, coughing, it's over. 
Your endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. We have the change card there as well. Heart with the key. Welcome in love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect with ascending. Yeah. Transcending obstacles, learning new phase, preparing for you. So you could be preparing to be with someone here. It says love begins. Number one, ace of um, passion ignited. That's a one. New love. That's a one. That's starting over. So I feel like you're, you're starting over. Somebody betrayed you. You may be realizing you're in a um, narcissist impact paradigm and you need to go. Okay. So if somebody betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. Somebody just, it's just over. What is it for Aries? Sun moon rising in the North Node. Sun moon rising, Jupiter, North Node. August 28th to the 29th. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on here. All right. Maybe I need to pull one of these real quick. Let me clarify. Let me clarify what this is real quick. quick. What's the um passion ignited for Aries? I'm going to explain this on my video, of course. The link will be in the description box, the community tab, and the comment section for you guys. Okay. Let me see what passion ignited is. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. There's that single card again. So I'm getting a Virgo because that's the nine of pentacles energy. There's something you feel for this Virgo. Or maybe you just want to be single. Or maybe you want new love with this Virgo. Yeah, chain. You want new love with a Virgo. I feel like a Virgo is significant or somebody with those placements. Or this is you. You have those placements. Yeah, passion ignited. Yeah, somebody's beautiful. I'm getting you're very attracted to their body. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. But if that's all something is based off of then i don't know yeah this could be like a high priestess or somebody yet yeah, a three of cups that's highly celebrated or influential very well dressed has a very nice sense of style their clothes fits their skeleton very beautiful here somebody very in tune could be a pisces or a psychic if it's not a um, psychic it's a pisces okay yeah what is the um what is the change single and new love the change, single, and new love. Yeah, wow. The five of cups and the ace of cups. So this is somebody you feel like you lost. So I feel like you you lost something here, but you have new love. New love with the ace of cups. That's literally new love. Okay. But I feel like you have to change and let go of something else here. You ha you have to, yeah, the five of cups, ace of, ace of cups. Or you feel like you lost this. You have the death. Yeah, there's change again. The death, change, change. And then um, change again. So I'm definitely getting you're a Scorpio or you're dealing with the Scorpio. You have significant Scorpio placements. But there's new love here, Ace of Cups. And the um, nine, yeah, you're moving on, the Six of Swords. And you need, you're being guided, literally. Choose wisely to move on towards your happiness. Aries, what is this right here? Yeah, the Ten, choose wisely. Love begins in the Ten of Cups. Choose wisely because this could be your overall happiness and joy. We have the Three of Swords, Six of Cups. I feel like you're missing somebody from your past. Somebody you, you didn't quite get over with. What's love begins? And there's the rainbow there and a rainbow here. Something is a very blessed union here. What is the love begins in the Ten of Cups? Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. So this could be an apology. Yeah, a reconciliation, the Three of Cups. This is somebody you're already familiar with. Yeah, the Knight of Cups has the Wheel of Fortune in his cup. Change, shift. Okay, the Three of Cups. And then I saw the two sticking out back there. So all what's the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune? We have, yeah, the Ace of Wands again. Passion ignited. So somebody has shifted. Somebody is like passionate about you again. Yeah, the world. But something is over. Possibly something with a tourist or a marriage or or something like that. What's, give me one right here. With girl with a snake engagement stabbed in the back and coughing. Maybe you proposed to somebody and they stabbed you in the back. Yeah, I'm getting a canceled proposal here. Someone's going to say no or they're going to call the call it off or something. What is this? Give me one right here. I'm going to extend this in the, um, in the, yeah, the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords. So I'm getting a public engagement that is called off or somebody decides to move on or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it is. All right. Let's see what this situation is in the extended. Like I said, the link will be in the description box, the community tab, and the comment section.